We're gonna give you seven exercises so that you can get shredded for volleyball, and we're gonna start, right? Now. So when we're looking at volleyball players, especially if they want to take their shirt off and be shredded out on the beach as they're practicing or playing out on the beach, we've gotta make sure that we can increase their wiry frame, that we can actually pack on effective muscle. That's one big factor that I like to focus on when I'm developing our Pan Am champs or Commonwealth Games champs, or even when we were prepping for the Olympics in 2021, a lot of the focus around muscular development is based around how can we increase muscle mass and actually lead to high rates of coordination? Okay, so that's usable athletic muscle. And that's one concept that we have to keep in the back of our mind when we're thinking about volleyball. Volleyball players tend to be taller, they tend to be wiry, they tend to be a little bit longer. So when we're packing on that lean muscle mass, we also have to think about how is this going to be applied specifically to the sport? That's the big concept here. Get shredded, build muscle, apply it to the sport, and that's gonna be the most optimal lens that we're looking through as we give you these exercises. Now, when we're looking at training for volleyball, let's look at the actual sport. You've gotta be as explosive as possible, right? You have to be able to jump. When we're jumping, we also need to make sure that we can land effectively and absorb force and absorb that energy at an optimal degree. That means high speed movements. We also have to be training those co-contractions, okay? So if we have co-contractions happening in our shoulders, happening in our knees, that's gonna make those joints more stable, which one, will improve our sports performance in volleyball, and two, it can, in theory, prevent injuries, okay? If we're learning these co-contractions, we will injure our ankles less, our knees less, our shoulders less. It will lead to injury prevention. That's a key concept. So those first two movements are going to be technical coordination exercises. And that first movement is going to be a two box power snatch. Now, a lot of volleyball players don't really like to do weightlifting exercises like a power snatch. And part of that is because of the long range of motion being so tall. That's why I like going off of two boxes. If we can go off of two boxes, it puts the athlete in a very similar position of where they're gonna be on the court. Also, let's think about that shoulder stability. If they make hip contact and they're finishing almost like they're jumping and then they catch rapidly, when they catch rapidly, we're gonna see the brakes get thrown on, okay? We're gonna see that shoulder co-contraction and we're gonna see that force absorption overhead. So now that's gonna lead to even on the court, being able to ground and land in those positions more effectively. So two box power snatch is absolutely phenomenal for one, increasing that neural intelligence and two, leading to injury prevention. So use two box power snatch, I would say five sets of two, four sets of three. And you can do that inside the comprehension phase, even in the ascension phase, inside of parabolic periodization so that you can improve your overall performance. Now that second key technical coordination movement is going to be using jerk boxes. And if you don't have access to jerk boxes, you can go lighter, about 50 to 65%, and you can do this off the rack. And what I wanna see is a behind the neck power jerk, okay? So again, think about volleyball, counter movements, counter movements, counter movements, okay? That's the sport. Counter movement jump, counter movement jump from all these crazy angles, right? So one of the big factors here is with a behind the neck power jerk, we're gonna have the bar on our shoulders, we're gonna do a counter movement, drive up and catch. I just did a split jerk, but I want you to do a power jerk, okay? So we're gonna get down, drive up, catch. So we're now in that same position of where we're applying and jumping or where the same position we would be in when we're grounding. Also, we're gonna have that strong shoulder stability overhead. We're gonna have that co-contraction in our shoulder girdle. That's gonna help us then when we're blocking or when we're serving, okay? So we can actually use that speed to train other aspects, not just jumping, but also that arm swinging motion that you tend to see in volleyball. So you can do behind the neck power jerks. Again, five doubles, six triples, four sets of three, depending on the day. I would use these on an upper body power day that's typically gonna be on day two. Now, volleyball players are tall. Most of them are very tall, okay? So they don't like to do squatting exercises. They don't like to do movements that can really lead to a deep knee flexion, but, if we wanna get shredded for volleyball, 
and still be an effective volleyball player, we need to be doing movements that will help strengthen our quads, that will help strengthen our posterior chain, that will help us with that dynamic trunk control. And that's where that next movement's gonna come into play. And we've got a little bit of a hack here to help you with those tall individuals. And that is the box front squat, okay? Now, we've got about a 12 inch box here. I recommend with taller athletes, if they're over 6'3", 6'4", I would recommend using something along the lines of like 18 to 20 inches, okay? Just where the athlete might be a hair below parallel. So in the case of a volleyball player, I'm gonna go cross arm here just so I can demonstrate. Oh, I'm gonna get set here. I actually like putting my heels where I have them on the red box because it's a little bit more elevated. I can get a little bit more range of motion. We wanna focus on squeezing the abs, okay? filling up that belly with a whole bunch of air. And we're gonna go down with a slow eccentric. Ground, drive up fast. Okay, down, up fast. Okay, so what you can do is when we're using a box, you can use that as a target, but because we're dealing with people who are 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", women who are six feet to 6'4", you can help improve their knee flexion, you can help improve their trunk stability by targeting them with a front squat, but putting that box in can actually help alleviate some issues that they have squatting full range of motion. Now, if you have an athlete who is a freak or who has really good mobility, I'll bring up Frank Melvin. He played volleyball for us here. He was at Penn State. He had phenomenal mobility, phenomenal strength. He could power clean 275 pounds, he's 6'4". One thing with him is he could squat full range of motion. So if you have a volleyball player who can do that without any issues, by all means do that. But the box is one way to alleviate some of that stress. Now that fourth key exercise is going to lead to improving strength in our lats. When we can train our lats effectively, we'll increase our lean muscle mass, we'll get shredded, and we'll also have a better striking motion because of our lat strength. And that movement is going to be a pull-up. And ideally, we can get to the point where we can actually execute weighted pull-ups. I recommend doing pull-ups pretty regularly, probably twice a week. And on that day two power day, you might do four sets of four weighted and then one drop set of seven to nine reps, something like that. And you can see this inside of our app, Peak Strength. If you guys need help with your overall programming, you can head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, or the Apple iOS Store, and you can download Peak Strength today and then go in and get a volleyball specific program. You're gonna see pull-ups on that upper body power day, day two. I would also recommend doing pull-ups and maybe another pull-up variation on day five, a hypertrophy day, okay? Or even on day four, if we're doing impulse day. So you can do this again for maybe five sets of five and just focus on that good speed. But one factor I wanted to bring up is that a lot of volleyball players are not good at pull-ups. They'll say they're long, they're tall, but then they forget that there's swimmers who are as tall as them and they can bang out 15 to 20 pull-ups. So if we want to get shredded for volleyball, we've got to be proficient with our pull-up capability. It's going to improve our overall power output. It's even going to improve that dynamic trunk control. And when we couple pull-ups with those front squats and with those technical coordination movements, you're going to become a more effective volleyball player. Now, when we're talking about being shredded, we know that we've got to be about 10 to 12% body fat if we're men, probably around 20% if we're women, okay, with our body fat percentage. We also want to have that shredded six pack, okay? I will say this, you've got to focus on your nutrition if you're going to be getting lean, okay? If you wanna be shredded for volleyball, you've got to focus on getting one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You need to make sure that you're timing your carbs effectively, and then you can sort of fill in the rest of those macros on the back end with fat. We need to make sure that our trunk is strong when we're in that overhead position. And this is an ab exercise that I'm about to show you that we use frequently inside of our app Peak Strength. So when we're trying to train athletes to be more effective with their trunk control, we wanna focus on something like a hollow body rock and I'm gonna use a plate overhead. So we're gonna get here, okay? And I wanna come up, oh, just stay nice and tense and almost think about pushing, oh, I can feel it, pushing that belly button down into the floor and keeping the plate the whole of the plate over your head here the entire time. So if you can execute two, three sets of 20 to 25 reps of the plate overhead hollow body rocks, that's gonna help you get into this position here 
in a stable position. Then that's gonna create that shelf so that now as you're jumping or as you're landing, you can absorb that energy more effectively and become more shredded while getting better at volleyball. Okay, now the next two exercises I like to contrast together. And I wanna focus on rotational work Okay, so rotational trunk work, but also rotational trunk work that's more explosive. And then we're gonna pair that with another plyometric movement. There's a ton of jumping in volleyball, right? We have to be able to absorb energy. We have to be able to reuse that energy as effectively as possible. And that's where these two movements come into play. We want to train that joint co-contraction. We want to train that trunk control. We wanna get shredded. Okay, these are real simple factors. And if we have our nutrition lined up and we're doing this strength training effectively and we're actually focusing on adding weight properly, we're gonna get pretty freaking strong. That's one of the best parts around peak strength is that we actually tell you what weight to put on. And if you use the tool to say how hard those exercises were or weren't, we're gonna tell you what weight to put on on your next set so that you can keep making those hypertrophic gains. Now, the next two movements are gonna be this awesome freaking rotational movement. So we're gonna go here, boom, boom. Oh, look at that, as I fall over, because I didn't have that trunk control. Okay, so I'm here. Oh, that's hard. That's a rotational side jump. So it's not just a side jump, it's a side jump with that rotation. That's gonna help us be able to cut side to side really rapidly. It's gonna train our abs, and our glutes and our quads all together. Okay, so we might do this on an athlete day. Well, let's say we do this for five sets of three on each side. Now, I'm gonna pair this with what we term as the spike jump. I wanna see a spike jump from two feet, come up, land and react right away. So we could have a target, let's say here, we come up, hit, and then back up. So that would be one rep. Do this again, boom, boom. Okay, let's say we do five sets of three, and you could take your steps with the opposite leg each rep. So you do five sets of three to the left leg, five sets of three to the right leg, and then superset that with those rotational side jumps. That's gonna help you get shredded, a little bit out of breath, and better as a volleyball player. So remember, use these technical coordination exercises that we went over in the beginning. Then we've gotta train those absolute strength movements with the front squats, the pull-ups. We also wanna make sure that we're focusing on that trunk control and the plyometric exercises. And remember that key nugget, you've gotta be getting at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight focus on your overall nutrition and make sure your sleep is also on point. That's gonna help you get shredded for volleyball. If you guys need help with a volleyball-based program, head over to peakstrength.app. You can pick that up today for five free workouts. And during those five free workouts, you can cancel at any time because the worst thing that's gonna happen is that you get five free workouts. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.